Thank you, Mr. President. Through you to my Senate colleagues, I know this is the third time we're going to deal with this, and hopefully it's the final time. You know, when we were told early in the budget process that the budget office needed $50 million in concessions from state employees, they have turned around. All the bargaining units have agreed to the concessions. They've given the state back another $50 million just for uh, this round of bargaining on top of the 650 or $700 million they've sacrificed over the previous uh, several budget cycles. But, you know, I have a, a little over 1,000 corrections officers up in my district in the Upper Peninsula, and they work hard every day. They take care of the they, – they manage the worst of our society, and they, and they continue to do that day in and day out, even though the – the state legislature seems to think that their jobs aren't worth what they've negotiated in the past. Uh, maybe you can look those men and women that, that go into our prison system every day on our behalf. Maybe you can look them in the eye and, and tell them their jobs aren't worth what they negotiated, but I can't do that. Our state troopers, uh, how would you like to be on the uh, porch of a domestic violence call not knowing whether the person inside is armed? Uh, whether or not the people inside are in danger, whether or not your life is in danger. Maybe you can look those state troopers in the eye and tell them their jobs aren't worth what they've negotiated. I can't do that. Maybe you can look at the DHS workers who sit at their desk day in and day out dealing with family after family after family that comes to them trying to get back on their feet, trying to work their way through the troubles this state is, uh, is, is experiencing. Maybe you can look those people in the eye and tell them their jobs aren't worth what they've negotiated, but I can't do that. But you talk about the people that have, have uh, pushed us to pursue this, and I won't read their names, but I have a list of some of the earnings from some of the people that are pushing this, uh, this resolution. One of the chief executive officers, his uh, salary and 2007 was $7.17 million. In 2008, it went up 9% to $7.5 million, with a 2008 bonus of $3.15 million. Uh, another gentleman, $5 million in 07, $5.4 million in 08, a 7% increase. Um, it goes on, uh, someone making $42 million annually three and a half million dollars. These are people that are asking middle class employees in the state of Michigan have been sacrificing time after time to take, a, take three percent less for the work they do on our behalf. The, the people that put their lives on the line that spend their days dealing with the toughest problems in the state of Michigan. You can look those people in the eye and tell them you want to take their raise away. I won't do that. Mr. President, I would ask my remarks be printed in the journal.